Hannah. Hey, baby, there's a shadow behind you. It's all shadowy. Say so you look dark, Hannah. Little white girl. You're a little white girl, but you're looking kind of grayish. Hey, Hannah, look. Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Hannah. Baby. This is Ortego. He's hibernating. Dear Cesar, Cesar lost some weight. I wanted him to, so maybe it worked. Just mentally telling him to lose weight. It worked, didn't it, Cesar? I just mentally told you to lose weight, and you lost like two pounds. Maybe a little more, but I don't want you losing any more, okay? This is little Ortego. He's hibernating really deeply right now. Aren't you, Ortego? Well, I thought they're not supposed to hibernate once you bring them indoors, but... See, apparently you thought wrong. But he's a different species, man. He's a different breed. The three-toed box turtles would not be hibernating if I brought them indoors, but... Ortego is different. He's an ornate box turtle. And then Scooter, he's a red-eared slider, so he's different too, and he's also hibernating in the other room. Hey, Ortego. Hey, babies. Okay, I'm just gonna pick you up one more time. One more time, baby. They mean deep sleepy right now. Deep sleepy. Deep sleepy. See, normally he sleeps kind of lighter, but I can tell he's in a deep sleep now. See, I'm in another dimension now, so leave me alone. Say, leave me the heck alone. I'm in another dimension. Aren't you, Ortego? Sweetheart, I'm gonna cover you back up, babies. Then Amanda, I let her run around. I've been letting her out run around the bedroom. My little toad. The crickets have been sucking lately. PetSmart used to sell, you know, extra large. And now that they sell like barely medium and they're calling them extra large or jumbo or whatever. So they kind of suck. And then when you buy them online, they seem to die a lot faster. So I don't know. I don't know. It just seems like they just rip you off either way. Good night, Ortego. Well, I won't see you again till probably mid April. Stay, Zor. What's up, bubbies? Well, I noticed they did say we, you know, we were supposed to get snow, but so I kind of forgot about it, and then I opened the door this morning. And I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, because they did say a little bit of accumulation, but I was just like, kind of shocked when I saw snow. I was like, oh my god! And I was like, oh yeah, a few days ago they did say we were supposed to get some accumulation. Yeah, we definitely got like an inch or something. Amanda, Amanda. She doing, baby? You okay, baby? And she kind of lets me know now when she wants out. She'll be like, all up against the, the tank right there. Because if you let them out, they get used to it. And then sometimes, you know, they'll tell you when they want out. So, but today she didn't really want out, but I let her out anyway. I let her hop around the bedroom. But Reptilia, you know, she's been quiet for several days now. She's not hibernating, but... She's just been really quiet this time of year. They still lose their appetites. Even though she's not hibernating. She's the only one that's not hibernating. And here are the fishies. So here we are. You here are the fishies. What you doing, babies? Nice meeting you. What are doing? I like this steak. <laughs> Sweetheart, hi. Hmm? And here's little Scooter. Hey, Bobby. Sup? Sup? A little Scooter, he's hibernating too. See, I got him all nice and warm under there. Come here, Scoot. 
Oh, come here, bubbies. Okay, don't. I'm, I'm not trying to wake you up. Don't wake up, baby. Don't wake up, honey. I'm not trying to wake you up. Oh, see, me and Deep Sleepy, too. Me and Deep Sleepy. Deep Sleepy. See, my eyes are closed. See, I'm in Deep Sleepy. Deep Sleepy. Oh, shit, baby. I don't want to wake you up, honey. Good night, honey. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, precious. I'm going to leave you alone, honey. Okay, let me leave you alone. There you go. Cesar, you want to go outside and go pee-pee? Uh, I let him out earlier, but I don't know. I don't think he went to the bathroom. Because it was too snowy. <laughs> I think he just sat out there for a few minutes. Cesar, let's see if we can get Cesar to go outside. Cesar, you want to go outside and go pee-pee? Cesar, you want to go pee-pee? You got to go pee-pee? Well, you probably don't have to go. You'll tell me anyway. Okay, oh my God, Cesar, you know what that means, don't you? Okay, I'll be out there in a second. Come on, baby. Let's go pee-pee. Okay, I'll be out there in a second, babies. For some reason, I ordered the stainless steel uh, mug. And, okay, I've never heard of this before because I thought stainless steel was pure stainless steel. And this shit says... It says, um... It says 18.8. So I looked it up. This is not pure stainless steel. And it's thin too. It's um, 18.8 means it has nickel, chromium, and iron in it. So it's like, I guess it's about 70% stainless steel and 35% of that other crap nickel, iron, and chromium. Or, and about 65% stainless steel. So I don't know, I think I'm gonna return it on Amazon. And see, I need a big bottle like this because I drink a lot of water, and this is almost a half gallon. It's pretty big. But I think I'm going to return it. And, um... See, this... This I found... Uh, a customer just left it laying at Sam's Club, so I took it. I smelled it real good, make sure it didn't smell like chemicals or anything. And you can tell it was just used for water. <laughs> But I don't like this stupid thing because first of all I bent it but this nasty paint chips off. See and I don't want to be eating freaking paint. But this says Sub-Zero so maybe that's the brand so I'm going to see if I can find this online. Sub-Zero stainless steel. It don't say anything about 18.8. This is and this is like 10 times harder than this. This is pure stainless steel. That one is. And the brand is Sub-Zero Stainless Steel. It don't say anything about 360, 460, or the grades of it, or 18.8. But this is a cheap piece of crap. So I don't know, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna return that, maybe get glass. But um, the reason why I didn't wanna use my plastic jug anymore was because I started to, I started to, I noticed, I started to smell like a rubbery smell coming off the plastic. So this still has chemicals in it, I think, even though it's PBA free. BPA free, it still has some chemicals in it and I noticed this part started to have a rubbery smell. So I thought maybe I better not use this plastic. But like when you buy it and everything, it doesn't hardly smell, you know, like chemicals or anything like that. So I don't know what it has in it, but I'm sure it still has some kind of chemicals in it. So that's why I was going to get stainless steel, but I don't trust that because I don't want to be drinking iron, chromium, and nickel. So then, um, so I'll probably take that back. And apparently the aliens want me to have a Rolex watch. So 
bought me some Rolexes. And um, with persistence, I finally was able to take the links out without the proper tools. I, you know, I use pins and stuff like that. And uh, for the hammer, I used a screwdriver. So I was able to finally do it. I still got a jack with this one. Got a jack with this one and try to figure out how to take the links off that one. But I succeeded. I succeeded finally fixing this one because I love this. This was a Mel. Um, I got it really cheap on Amazon a long, long time ago, but it's a man's uh, bracelet. But I liked it, but I just couldn't figure out how to get the links out, but I finally did it. So now this is ready to wear. I finally got that one fixed. I had already taken one link out a long, long time ago, and I gave up. And then today, with persistence, I finally got one of them out. And so now I can wear this. And I finally got the links out of this one. See how short it is up here? I had to take like two and a half inches or three inches of links off of this one. We do it, Tora. So yeah, so see this one's cool, man. But I wish it was more like a woman's watch. They said it's a woman's watch. One of them, one of them is supposed to be unisex and one of them a woman's watch, but they're not. I mean, they're huge. They're like men's watches. They're both freaking men's watches, but they're one of them they're, they were calling a woman's and the other unisex. See, that's freaking big, man. But see, it fits because I took the links out. And then this one, I may return that one if I can't, if I can't uh, get the links out. See, this is so stupid. Like this doesn't even fit in that. So I think if I can take a link off, I think I could do it if I can take the take the link off, because they they gave us some extra parts with the watch. When people ordered the watch, they gave like this extra part right there. And here's the pieces that I took off the other watch. I had to take all that off. And actually, one of the watches came with this, so this was helpful. But this also works. And then I use this for the hammer. And then I these were handy too. These needle nose pliers. Tora, come on, baby. Let's get down, baby. Come on. Let's get down. You're so damn hyper and get down. Okay, let's go outside real quick. Yeah, so this I may have to take that back, and then I'm probably gonna take this back too. I don't know, it's just really thin. I mean I thought stainless steel was pure. And this one you can tell is it doesn't say doesn't have the grade on there or anything this is pure and look how hard it is and thick it is I don't know if they're I, you know I don't know if they're still gonna even make these really good ones I doubt it because everything they make so damn cheap man I probably won't be able to find that on the internet but this right here this is bull crap this is not pure stainless steel Yeah, this watch is pretty cool. But actually, I think I like this one better anyway. This is more diamondy. And this one looks a little bit more goldish. Hey, Hannah, want to come outside? Hannah, uh, you want to come outside real quick? Just for a few minutes? Well, Stacy? Here's our, here's our snow. Look at all the snow. It's pretty chilly out here, but it's not negative nine or negative five wind chill. It's probably like 31. The wind chill, I don't know, maybe like 18, maybe.
can't wait till we get those houses built back there. Because then that's going to muffle the sound of the highway. But besides, they'll probably put that wall in too. They'll have to because those people are going to be bitching about that noise when they move in to that subdivision. And it's only going to be for older people, senior citizens. It's going to be for 70, no, 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 not 75 and up, 55 and up. But basically, it's going to be 70 year olds to 100 year olds. It's not going to be 55 year olds. Even though it'll be for 55 and up. Ain't that right, Steve? Ain't that right? Look at the snow. Snow. Sathor. Well, I don't even know if you went to the bathroom. I bet you didn't because you probably didn't want to walk around in that cold snow, did you? There's Tora. Dora. Sweetie. And little Patty, she's in her own little world. She stays in here because Tora and, and uh, Bobby torment her. Aw, well, they don't bug you all the time, Patty. Hi, babies. Patty. Patty. Sweetie, Patty, look. But she comes out sometimes and, um, well, yesterday she came out and wandered outside, so I let her outside. But she mainly likes to stay in the back bedroom. But she'll come out sometimes and sleep right here for, for many, many hours. Or, or for about a day and a half or whatever. But yeah, she mainly stays back here because of freaking Torah and Bobby are little brats. Of course, Hannah, Hannah and Cesar are sweethearts, so Patty doesn't have a problem with them, but it's just... Um, Bobby's a bully and uh, Tora's a bully to little Patty and Patty's a sweetheart. Hey, you guys get along fine, don't you, Pat? Patty and Hannah? Hannah, you get along fine, don't you, babies? Hannah! Hannah! Hey, baby. Okay, I'm going to turn this off now.